Well, folks, for the last two weeks, I have done nothing but work on my house to get it ready for sale. Um, if you haven't watched my channel, um, I'm unemployed and, and looking to move. So, but today, um, we're going to take a break from that 10 days of misery and work on the trailer a little bit. And we're going to go over some of the, uh, we're going to change the springs and we're going to change some of the sliders and some of the bearing surfaces that rub together um, because I think that's important for people to know. So stay tuned. We're going to do some A-liner repair work today. I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but you know when you open your A-liner, you bring your, your sidewalls up. I think I can do this from here. No, I can't. This pinches together. You've got a piece of weather stripping in here that's pretty much <laughs> crushed. Doesn't last very long. I changed these this uh, this winter, and it, it just looks crushed. But that's okay. It sealed. It seals the parts. But these get dirt going down the road. Um, I know it's supposed to be pretty well sealed, but you go over a dirt road, these get pretty dirty, and you need to you need to wipe them down or wash them every now and then. Because um, otherwise, um, it leaves rocks and dust in there and it'll uh, flatten that even more and then it won't seal in the and you'll wonder why you're why you have a hard time putting your eight walls up the other thing is on the inside also up here on the roof you know the lower roof runs on a piece of aluminum on the upper roof and you need to wipe that down you'll see some black stuff come out of there because um It'll slide a lot easier. It will slide a lot easier if you get that black, that black off of there too. And uh, the easy way to do that is just climb in the A-liner and do it from in here. But wherever anything rubs aluminum, it leaves that black, that black mess. Um, it's just <laughs> aluminum wearing off is what it is. But um, you can wax these and run them, and uh, they'll be they'll be a lot easier to run. Hello. <laughs> the other thing we're going to do today is um, based on something um, Slim Potato Head, another A-liner channel on YouTube, did. Is there were some little nylon strips here that are supposed to keep the the upper roof from sliding on the lower roof and scratching it up but it hasn't done a real good job in these um, with the uh, heat and where they fall off and I've tried to re-glue them this is contact cement that I'm going to try to get off with some acetone but uh, Slim Potato Head found these hang on I, I gotta get the things we're back. Slim found these things on uh, on Amazon or someplace that they're little nylon balls, little nylon balls in a retainer, and you drill a hole and pop those into the sidewalls, and they should act as a roller bearing for the walls. Um, so if I put these right there like this drill a little hole and just pop them in there um, they should work great uh, I gotta be careful not to line them up with anything serious or they'll just get knocked out but um, I've got some real some real damage on mine because of the way I put my solar panels on these screws go through and there's no way of not having them go through at least a little they're only they're only about a sixteenth of an inch through on the other side but when the trailer drives around it 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 moves it wiggles and jiggles and and that causes this pretty serious uh, damage there you can it's really digging a digging a hole into the thing now I'll put these on either side of that and hopefully that'll keep it from rubbing these come from Amazon I'll put the link below if you want to try those, if you have the same trouble I do, so you get six of them, actually seven of them for 
So we'll drill the holes and pop those in the tops here. Hopefully that'll uh, keep this from from wearing on this. I even built up the glue here so that it kind of protected it a little, but it really doesn't. It needs it needs something that's got a real spacer to it, and this is uh, isn't going to do it. I drill the hole, and these aren't going to go in there just like magic. So what I did is I took a bolt and I just screwed it on a little bit on the end of this rod. The rod's a little long, but this way I can hammer that in there and it won't hurt it. And now that's in there. And I think that works okay. So now I'll put another one here and some down there and we'll keep on going. They don't always come out perfectly round because the drill vibrates a little bit. So I just take a little round file and help it a little bit. Take the burrs off the outside. That looks good. These actually do go in by hand pretty good. So, so there they are on this side. Got one here, one here, one here, and one way down here. You can just barely see it. And now on this side, um, a while back, I tried to glue wedges, and I glued four of them on. And these are pretty thick wedges. They're used for uh, leveling furniture. And um, only one of them stayed. The other ones all came off. And I'm not sure why, but I'm going to leave him on there as long as he stays. Because <laughs> it, does, it does help. He stopped the scratching on the side. So, uh, but I'll put the... I'll put the the uh, roller bearings in there and the understanding that that's eventually going to fall off. As soon as it gets hot and it gets cold again, it'll stretch. And the top closes and latches just fine. We'll see if that makes any difference to everything rubbing and scrubbing and scratching. So, sun's coming out. It's going to get hot. We got to get on doing the springs now.